Now, whilst we were creating a lot of the uh, grow your own area, we took some of the old soil out. Uh, there was just too much of it uh, as we added new soil in and created a, a mound of this spent soil just over here. Um, and I wanted to really have it as a, a wildflower area because the bees are just behind me there. You can see them popping in and out of the hive. So I wanted something that gave them quite a nice early breakfast straight out of the hive straight into the area. So I'm using, what this, is, this isn't something that I'm collecting behind my dog going for a walk. These, this is in fact specialist seeds. Um, they're from Mr. Fothergills and they pull together quite a range of beautiful seeds that are gonna create a really good wildflower area. Um, I had a little bit of an inspiration of making a path all the way through. So just as you can see, we've just rough rotivated this. Um, it's not meant to be, you know, absolutely perfect soil. I want them to, to grow as naturally as possible. So in the middle, we've created a, uh, a pathway which has been grass seeded. So there'll be a, a walkway through here. And to the left and uh, to the right of me here, I've got this mound that I'm casting over these lovely Mr. Fothergill selection of seed just roughly cast around to create um, a, a beautiful array of wildflowers with a pathway through. So the bees, they'll love it. They'll be able to come out here. They can do a quick fly over the lawn uh, and then around and visit plenty of the, uh, uh, of the flowers that will support the pollinators in this area. So it's just a bit of fun. It'll be marvellous for the kids to run through as well. So casting this seed all the way over the surface here. We need a little bit of rain, of course, just to, to help initiate germination. And well, we're just going to let nature do the rest. So a spent bit of soil in the bottom of the garden to create something quite beautiful. And that's what you should do in your own garden. Don't leave everything to be too pristine, perfectly cut. Save a bit for the creatures that visit things like the beneficial insects that are around, the amphibians, the hedgehogs, you know, an area that's, you know, a little less manicured and just aside, maybe an area you can't even see behind the shed, the garage, stack a few logs and twigs underneath some bushes or hedges, or leave a corner of the garden to go wild to support the creatures that are in there. Right, you bees. Oh, hive number three is working really well. I think we'll be getting a good lot of honey of that this year. So in the meanwhile, they'll be feeding me, I'll be feeding them.